My name is Mark Nikita. Uh, I'm an architect and urban designer and I work uh, in downtown Detroit in a firm that I, I uh, co-founded many years ago uh, called Archive Design Studio, often referred to as Archive DS. And uh, we specialize in urban design and architecture in an urban context, mostly oriented around pedestrian, walkable communities, neighborhoods, districts, downtowns, that kind of thing. We're currently sitting in the Rolling Cafe, and the Rolling Cafe is in the center of the lobby of the Guardian Building, which is a 1927 um, built uh, grand piece of, uh, of, of, of towering architecture, one of the greatest skyscrapers, frankly, ever built. Um, and uh, this cafe evolved after um, many years of, of th this lobby actually being off limits to the public. And, uh, and a, f a few years ago, uh, a, uh, uh, a development group, the Sterling Group, bought the building and decided to reopen the interior to the public. When we talk about the region of Detroit, one of the biggest assets is, is the, the central spine, which runs right, right up the center of, uh, of, of the region physically. It's also the, you know, the historical um, connection through Detroit, uh, which is the Woodward Avenue um, and the Woodward Avenue corridor is often referred to. And I like to consider it the most, um, I, I really consider it and I often state, state it as the most important street in the, in, the, in the entire state of Michigan. Because I think when you look at all the aspects of Woodward Avenue as a, as a valuable economic driver, as a valuable marketing tool for the region, uh, it's hard to argue all the things that are, that are part of Woodward. I mean, it, it goes through some of the most uh, important places culturally, uh, uh, economically, uh, and, and in terms of neighborhoods and districts that, 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 the, that the state has to offer. Well, I think the idea of using the space that we have, um, you know, in whatever capacity, uh, I think people are recognizing the importance of, of what, what we often use the, the term um, animate the streets, activate the streets. Um, to create a vibrant urban context, you want buildings em uh, that, that were empty to be full, and you want spaces that are empty or underutilized to be more and more active. Um, I think building owners are recognizing the value to that, to their building. Um, cities and, 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 and districts are recognizing importance. So I think the idea of, of, of really thinking hard as to how to, in to engage businesses and building owners to, to activate their buildings is really coming to the forefront now.